Hi everyone, let's take a closer look at how we share files and folders from our OneDrive. So here I am in my OneDrive in my Files tab and for this video I'm going to um, access a file and a folder from this particular folder. Alright, let's start by sharing a file. To share a file, I'm simply going to select the individual file and notice that I could come up to the very top and click share or I can also access the sharing function by clicking on the share icon to the far right of the name of the document. The first thing I'm going to do is determine how I'm going to share this document and who I'm sharing the document with. Notice that right now by default it's set to people you specify can view. So if I wanted to share this with a specific colleague, I could start entering that colleague's name or email address here on this line. Now, keep in mind that it's set to can view. What if I want my colleague to be able to edit the document? Well, I would simply click on this caret to expand the sharing permissions. I could leave it set to specific people, but I could change the sharing from view to allow editing by clicking this checkbox. Notice that I also have the ability to expand who I want to share this with. For instance, I could select anyone with the link. I could choose people in Edmonton Catholic schools with the link, which would limit it to just people in my organization. Or I could select people with existing access if I've already shared this. Let's say that I previously shared this with my colleagues, Ben, Michael, and Trish, but I only gave them viewing permissions. I could set this to people with existing access and update their access to allow editing. Let's go ahead and select anyone with the link. Notice that when I select anyone with the link, I have additional options. I can set an expiration date for the link. Maybe I only want people to have access to edit this document for a month. I could set an expiration date. If it was a secure document, I could also set a password that I could then share with the specific people whom I'm sharing this document with. Let's go ahead and click apply. I'm not going to enter any of this information. Once I've selected anyone with the link can edit, I can always copy the link and share it either in Outlook or on Teams or in another platform. Let's go back to sharing. This time, let's share a folder. Let's say that I wanted to share this folder with my colleagues, Ben, Michael, and Trish. I could simply select this folder, and again, I could come up to the top menu and click share, or I could click on the share icon to the far right of the name of the folder. The choice for sharing permissions are the same. Notice that we can designate anyone with the link, people in Edmonton Catholic Schools with the link, people with existing link or specific people. This time I'm going to select specific people and say allow editing and click apply. What I would do next is start typing the names of my colleagues here in this field. I could add a message that gives them a heads up that I'm sharing this folder with them and that they will have edit access to all the content inside this folder. When I'm ready, I would simply click send and an email message would be sent along with that message and a link to the file with its contents. All right, now that we've had the chance to explore how to share files and folders from our OneDrive, let's briefly talk about managing sharing permissions. So let's take a close look at this shared demo document. Notice that I can see it is shared underneath the sharing column of this chart. I can simply click shared to open the manage access panel. Notice inside the Manage Access panel, I could stop sharing this document entirely by clicking Stop Sharing and then Confirming. Notice that I actually have a couple of different links that give access. For instance, I am actually allowing anyone with the link to edit, and I can copy this link to share, say, in Teams, uh, Outlook, or maybe uh, add this link to a PowerPoint. 
Notice that it's also set to people you specify can view. And right now I'm giving permission to Ben. If I click the drop down, it just simply expands Ben's full name and his position in the division. Notice that I can also give direct access to people from the Manage Access panel by simply clicking the plus to grant access. And below I can see the owner of the document. At any point in time, I could remove Ben from this document by simply clicking the X beside his name and selecting remove. I could click the three dots or the Timbits for more options and I could actually remove this particular link and delete this link. And same thing with the anyone with the link can edit. If I wanted to, I could remove this sharing permission by simply clicking the three dots or the more actions. Again, if I wanted to stop sharing entirely, I would just come up and click stop sharing and click on the stop sharing button to confirm. Please keep in mind that managing sharing permissions can be very important, especially if you are sharing an entire folder. When you're sharing an entire folder, you can always open the folder and adjust the sharing permissions of any individual file. So maybe out of the 44 files in this particular folder, maybe I actually only want to share 40 of them and four I want to keep private. I could go to those four that I want to be private and adjust those sharing permissions.